Today I am going to be working on a Lazy Susan. It is indeed a Lazy Susan. these for a class a few months ago and um, quite a few people didn't realize they were Lazy Susans <laughs> until we got here and their project was spinny. To start, of course we've got our plain wooden Lazy Susan. I got these blanks from Amazon. I'm going to be using one of my new paint bowls. These are beautiful handcrafted bowls. What makes these paint bowls special is that they've got a groove for your thumb. They're beautifully hand thrown and there's a little nook on the side for your paintbrush. All right, I'm just gonna be using the blending brush and I'm just gonna be getting a coat of paint. This color is liquid sunshine. It is our brightest yellow. All right, so easy peasy. I'm gonna bust open my JRB stencils. They come in a package look, that looks like this. If you guys are in the South Charleston, Ohio area, I have lots of different designs of these at the Village Chic Village Cup. They are super thick. You can see very thick, sturdy stencils. They are wildflowers. There's a whole bunch of wildflowers on this stencil, but I don't think I want to cover the whole stencil with, with the wildflowers. I think I want to bring them up one side. I do have stencil brushes. I have stencil brushes in the shop and on the website, but today I'm going to use something that you might more easily get your hands on more immediately, and that is, uh, what are these called? Makeup wedges. So I find these for a hundred for a dollar at my dollar, my local Dollar Tree. And they're really quite dreamy for stenciling. The trick with stenciling, and I had heard this a million times and still messed it up the first 15 times I tried to stencil. The trick with stenciling is the tiniest, littlest, barely there amount of paint possible on your sponge. So I dipped my sponge in the paint and now I'm using a plate to get almost every lick of that paint off. When it really looks like the paint is almost completely off of your sponge, that's when you're ready. Uh, I am not a patient person, so that is what I struggle with when it comes to dry brushing and stenciling, is the fact that it takes the tiniest amount of paint and because of that you have to be very patient in layering paint on top of one another. I am just taking my makeup sponge and I'm holding it like this with the fat side down. I'm using the, the big fat square side to do the stenciling. You'll see I dip my makeup brush or my makeup sponge into the paint and that's all the paint it, that I'm working with. But then I'm gonna offload it. Offload it like crazy onto my plate here to where it looks like hardly any paint is left on my sponge. And only then am I gonna go ahead and move to my stencil. And then I'm gonna hold the stencil down and I'm gonna move along it while pouncing my makeup sponge. This is Salty Kiss. The green is Salty Kiss. It's a nice bright green. So it's not um, it's not really a grassy green, but it's a nice bright green. So since I used Liquid Sunshine, I felt like a nice bright green would be fun. And this is Fire Starter, a nice bright orange. I am not gardener. I'm not even that outdoorsy to be honest. I am not a person who um, 
who knows many flower types or plant types off the top of my head. So I might not even be painting these the right color, honestly. I Googled wildflowers and it looked like there were lots of different colors that would be in a wildflower field. So I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go with that. flowers over here which these are little little flowers and when I was googling it appeared that little flowers like that might be blue I don't know what they would be called so I'm gonna use um, some water lily and some hay sailor for that I'm just gonna kind of mix them up a little bit because I don't think flowers in nature are very one-dimensional in color. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That was on accident, but I'm happy about it. So you can see, I put like a squirt of paint on my plate, and I really didn't use any of it. I, I use such a tiny, tiny bit. Ta-da! I like to say ta-da. I'm a child. For a top coat for this, I would suggest using Big Top. Big Top is our water-based top coat, and it is really best when you are going to need durability for your surface. Wax is really pretty, I love using wax on anything that's not going to take a beating. But for something like this, where you're probably going to be setting stuff on it, taking stuff off all, all the time, I would go ahead and use Big Top. I ordered these orange sponges off of Amazon. Oh shoot, I didn't open my Big Top before I started. Okay, sorry about that. Once you open a Big Top, it will really stick shut. I think you can add like Vaseline or something to the rim to keep it from doing that. But I never do. So I'm gonna take the sponge, I'm gonna absorb the butt Big Top in it. Oh yeah, that's kind of a dream. Big Top is super liquidy. It's the consistency of milk. Um, it's not even as thick as glue. It's really like the consistency of milk. You can see it dripping. And I know that was something that was really surprising to me when I first started using Big Top, and it's often surprising to my customers. Now, the first round of stenciling did not really get as much detail on the flowers as I'd like. So I'm gonna go back up and back and do some touch-up work. I grabbed weathered wood, used for the center of the flowers. It's a nice brown black color. This is Summer Crush. It's a darker orange than the fire starter. So I'm gonna tap a little bit of that onto my flowers to give it some dimension. This is where you can kind of cheat and put some brush strokes onto those flower petals and maybe convince some folks that you can paint the flowers on. Okay, I'm gonna use some petticoat paint as well. All right, now I'm gonna remove the stencil. I'm just gonna do some touch-ups with my artist brushes. Adding just a little, little detail here.
quickly run this over the flowers one last time. We'll give it a little sheen, bring back the vibrance and the colors, and keep it nice and durable. I appreciate you guys so much and hope you enjoyed. You can definitely hear your steps. Sorry.